Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. In our earlier video, we have seen about the planning panel where we have assigned the user story to the iteration by manually assuming how many story points we can complete in the sprint based upon our previous sprint experience. Now I'm going to show an advanced way where you can plan your iteration based upon the forecasting. Actually, we we have used a different project. Now I have, uh, you know, got this project from Azure DevOps Lab. I'll be providing a one more video where you can generate these many user story from Azure DevOps Lab. Please do watch. Now, in our earlier video, we have used the story points and we just assume like, okay, our team is capable of doing nine user story per sprint. So let's assign two user story. Now, let me go to sprint first. And if you see here, Currently, I'm in third sprint. Already, we have completed two sprints. Currently, we are in, assume like we are in the first day of the sprint and we are going to do a planning. Now, let's simply go back to backlog. And here, just click on analytics and you will find two options. And this is will list out how many items are work in progress for past 30 days. So you can just change for last 14 days, how many it is and based of if you have swim lens you can just select the swim lens from here and what and all you want to see whether you want to see new as well so which will list out here likewise you can see this analytics and now velocity so if you just click on this and here you see velocity so how you want to define your velocity based upon the count of work items you have completed or based upon the sum of story points from the close user stories. We will come to this later. First, let's consider about count of work item. Here it is showing the average velocity as three. And here if you see in the first iteration, we have completed one item, but we have completed it late and three of them are still incomplete. And here if you come in the second iteration, we have four, but we have completed late. And if you sum up for both iteration, if you try to see one, have completed and here for totally five we have completed for two sprint so five divided by two the average velocity is coming up as 2.5 and it is rounded to three now similarly depending upon the number of iteration and the number of work items you have completed it will show up the average velocity now simply switch to sum of story points in this i guess only for this uh, user story i have defined the story points um, so if you come down for user story I have added around 9 so 9 divided by 2 it is coming around 4.5 and it is rounded up to 5 and this is what the average velocity so I'm going to define my average velocity based upon sum of story points only and here you can change the based upon how many iteration last six iteration or you want to reduce it you can just do so from here and let's come back to backlog now let's see about forecasting and just click on this option and here you will find forecasting if you just select this you will find an option over here forecasting based upon velocity of 4 if your velocity on previous sprint is 4 you you will be able to complete only one user story and if you see here for user story i have add, already added story points so if velocity is 4 then we can complete only four story points which means only one user story and this time I'm saying that hey we have two more team members which means the velocity may go up which means we will be able to commit more so in that case I'm just forecasting my velocity to 12 which means in the current sprint I can able to complete three user story uh, if you see here four four story points are there so with this you can plan your sprint and that's it on this video we have a lot of concepts to cover. I request you to hit the bell icon. Then only you will get a notification whenever I'm uploading new videos. I'll be providing the WhatsApp and Telegram channel URL in the video description. Please do join. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected. Thank you. Bye-bye.